Hey everyone, it's Coach Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation, and welcome to Glide Shop 101, part two. And what we want to do is it's very easy to look at some of the most elite gliders ever and point out all the great things they do. And then it's another to start realizing that when you're trying to implement this, what are going to be some of the more common things you're going to see? So what I thought we would do in part two here is do a comparison, look at somebody like David Storl who has a very elite technique and, and, and compare that to a high school instead of just looking at two high school um, aged athletes that are in the development years. This video on the left, um, the high school athlete is submitted by one of our uh, online member coaches uh, for some feedback. So we're gonna take a look here. Now the key thing, remember we talked about the setup you're going to see what we talked about in video one or part one was talking about how Storl is really efficient at setting the angles. And then you're going to watch that angle basically start to change. And that angle is going to kind of essentially move into this position. Now, what you're going to see here is when this athlete sets, we're going to see different angles happening here. This, this athlete, when he starts at this back point, he's kind of got an angle here and an angle here. So we don't have that set angle. So if we have this kind of two position, uh, two angles happening here, then in your setup, your setup's gonna be less efficient. And so this is gonna have some impact. So when he sets here and he tries to kind of realign, you'll notice that this athlete has really kind of that type of thing going on, which really translates to we have an angle here and then we have an angle here. And we wanna see the center of mass being completely aligned. Now, so is pillar one, so when he sets, we're gonna notice a huge difference. This is as we're gonna be beginning our pillar two, and what the big problem is you're seeing is where that left arm is. Look at where Storl's arm is, that's gonna help pull the shot further out of the circle, and this is gonna give you, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the left arm is going to um, allow for the hip position as we set up and going into our pillar two. So you're gonna see how when this guy coils up into his what should be his pillar two, he's not really loading, he's gonna begin falling. And you're gonna notice when an elite glider pulls in, they pull in and they're loading. And this is how we're gonna create our load and then we're gonna then we're gonna set up our slide. So you're gonna notice the position of the kick leg, really key. And then you're gonna see the notice that he's staying in. So what that's doing is that's causing the athlete's uh, kick line to change up too early so that you're gonna notice where Sh Storl's shoulders are in relation to his hip, and you're gonna notice that this athlete's here, so you're on, he's on this angle. So as he kicks, and he does do a nice job of, of fairly decent double extension, but he doesn't get that full extension. He's not getting a dynamic punch off, and so what that's resulting in is a floating kick leg. You see how it kind of floats to the position right there. Whereas you're gonna notice Storl is gonna really kick and get it down, and you're gonna see this. This is how you can start engaging the block side. You've gotta get down on the inside of that foot. So as we move through the glide and we go from our pillar three, four, five, six, you're gonna see this is a huge difference too is in pillar six because his chain reaction is in the wrong position right, or slightly inefficient, developing athlete, these are the things he has to learn. Um, you're gonna see that float and that creates shift and when this foot never hits, this can't engage and block. So the block is gonna happen late. By the time that happens, you can see where he's pushed out, the shot's coming out of the neck and look at where that left arm is up here, the block arm. And so when we're in our pillar six, right, look at Storl's left arm, boom. It's right there, massive block. You can see that he gets that foot down. He's gonna to start to punch his block here, which is going to eliminate shift. That's gonna create the right side is coming through. That's our five to six transition. And we really see that left side, right? The blocking side is really crushed and it's a very nice big linear punch. And whereas this athlete has got a linear, he's kind of coming through, but the upper body is rotating back and so you're gonna see where his shoulders, his shoulders are actually facing kind of more this way. And you notice the sector, right, is here. And if you notice where Storl's shoulders are facing, everything's facing out into the, the, 
to the sector. He's pulled down, he's blocked, and so he has everything coming around and out. And that's why he hits that nice big throw. And this is where we're gonna see this guy is gonna have doing some decent stuff, but again, it's development. And so you're gonna see how we went back to the beginning, pillar one of our chain reaction, pillar two. And this is where we're seeing the issues that are prevalent with those delivery problems. So because of those premature shifts, and again, what's setting up the position and what he's gonna be able to react to isn't as efficient as what an elite uh, glider is obviously reacting to. Hopefully you found this video helpful to give you some extra insight into the key, the key is to understand that you have to be practicing and understanding that what is happening at each phase or pillar of the throw and that the throw is in fact a chain reaction. We look at how things connect and what I'm doing sets up further reactions in the throwing chain reaction. Hopefully the structure is helpful. Um, the, the idea here with this video is to give you some more insight how to train your glide and, and give you um, some ideas of, again of what's really happening in those two, two and a half seconds that's, uh, t you know, occurring in the ring. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, do us a favor, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and check out our website for more information and uh, free videos. Take care.